All right, some experts say changing the way we eat is also necessary for the future of the planet. And that includes focusing more on a plant-based diet to help fight climate change. To help break this down for us, we have best-selling author Chef Bay with us this morning. She wrote the number one Amazon bestseller cook, He'll Go Vegan. And we say to Chef Bay, good morning and good morning, thank Chef. you so much for being with us today on this Monday. <laughs> Hi, good morning. How are you guys? Great. We are great, and we always flirt with going vegan and then go back and forth. But talk to us. We know about the benefits to the body, sure. but talk to us about how choosing plants over animals is even good for the environment. Yeah, I love bringing the animal agriculture side of it into you know our diets because it's not something that's talked about, especially when we're talking about climate change. We talk a lot about emissions and our cars and oil and things like that. But talking about animal agriculture is just as crucial. Although animal agriculture um, contributes to 18% of all greenhouse gases, it's also important to think about resources. As a chef, I always think about resources. And water is such a huge contributor to the way that we grow animals. Um, if you think about it, 60% of all the grain that is grown in our entire country actually goes to feeding animals. And it's just mm -hmm. such an inefficient system when you think about how much water that takes to grow all that grain and then raise all those animals. So if you were to go plant-based for even one day, you could save 1,100 gallons of water. So that's why it's so important just to give it a shot and to just try it out. And one day can even make such a big difference. Wow. Oh, absolutely. So it can be a daunting task for somebody wanting to totally change their diet and change their lifestyle and to go vegan. What are some recommendations? Yeah. Um, because you kind of need to phase this out, right? As you're, tra as you're uh, transitioning over Can't to a vegan like lifestyle. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a classically French trained chef, so I went to a court on blue in San Francisco for my training. I'm Polish, so I was raised the opposite of vegan. Even most of my professional training was like, I honestly thought vegans were a little wacko when I first started out in the industry, but it's all about making small changes. It's all about being able to implement one little thing at a time, one little substitute at a time. And for me, I have endometriosis, so I dealt with chronic pain for most of my life, and going plant-based actually completely changed my life. So mm. now that's why I wrote this cookbook to really help people kind of transition easily, find simple swaps. And I also teach online virtual cooking classes inside my membership to give you that little bit of community and that support when you're trying something brand new. Boy, I've always needed it because it's tough to cook something vegan at home and make it taste really good mm -hmm. and make sure your kids yeah. eat it. <laughs> That's the yeah, biggest yeah, challenge. Yeah. So you don't use any animal products, which I get. Not even fish, not even a pescatarian diet. Tell us why. Yeah, so honestly, I think pescatarian is a great entry point into being more plant-based. It's a great way to learn how to use more vegetables, be a little bit more on the Mediterranean side of things. Um, but when you really look at how we're using our oceans and we're kind of abusing them for fish and you look at industrial fishing, they do this thing called bottom trawling where they basically put these huge fishing nets down mm -hmm. that have weights on the bottom and they clear everything in its path. And they only actually catch 30% of what they intended to. The rest of the 70%, they're catching dolphins and whales and sharks. And it's causing this massive environmental disaster when it comes to fishing. And that doesn't even include all the nets that are being let go, all the plastic, just all the trash that basically comes oh, from the fishing you have industry. Just, you've just brought it all to the mm -hmm. forefront, Chef Bay. Thank you so much. All yeah. you do is watch my the octopus, my teacher, and you like never touch squid or fish again. Anyway, yes. we so thank you so very much for your insights. And if you're interested in exploring more, uh, the book, Cook, Heal, Go Vegan, is available at Amazon on at Barnes and Noble and Target. Chef Bay. Also cooking classes too to help. I'm telling what a great you right resource now. for That's folks. That's what you need to make it all yeah. taste good. You know, otherwise it's like, you know, cardboard. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us.